What's up, everybody? It's Cameron Van Hoy coming at you live on KTDDBDCFG Radio. Playing all the hits all night long. How's it going? Hope everyone's having a great day. I wanted to talk today about faith, about artists' faith, because I think it's a wonderful topic that not enough talk about. Um, this channel is focused on filmmaking, creativity, projects that I'm producing and creating, the things that are exciting me out there in the world, highlighting other great artists, being a place of resource, and also entertaining. Uh, I'm not too interested in the more specific technical skills like, you know, how to cut on Avid or something like that. There's other places. I want to get a little bit more existential, a little headier about things and a little bit more abstract. And I felt like faith would be a really good topic of conversation. I remember coming up as a, as a young lad and uh, studying the arts. I would always hear about actor's faith or an artist's faith. And it really is a term that's existed for a long time and a concept that's super important, I think, for all creative people to really wrap their minds around and digest. And I, I kind of see this faith existing on two levels. One is just faith in your choices, faith in the creative process, faith in the doing. You have to have a level of faith that by doing the work and putting the time in, trusting the process, that you're going to arrive at something that is going to be pure, that is going to be you, that's going to be something you want to say. Uh, it's going to be artistic or worthy or valuable or entertaining or whatever it may be. That does require a really massive leap of faith, uh, moment to moment even. And I think it's something worth really sinking your teeth into, you know, because in the world you can get so caught up on doing things and, and pushing on projects, or you can also get so like, in your own cocoon and afraid to act and make moves. And that's where faith comes in, right? You can study and you should all that you want and you can practice and execute and learn and surround yourself with great people and do a lot of wonderful things that should be done to advance your craft, hone your talents, your skills, all of that. But you must move through that with faith. When you're writing, as an example, right? When you start and there's a blank page, you know, do you at least have faith in yourself that you will get to the end, that you'll complete the work that you've set out to do? I mean, that alone requires a lot of faith, self-faith, faith in yourself and your own will, your own constitution, that you're going to go the distance. I mean, it's so easy to start things and stop. Um, so yeah, you have to have faith in yourself. You have to have faith in the process. You have to have faith in your talents that when you do get to the end, you're going to have something good there, right? You have, to, you have to have faith that you'll find your way through the work that you do. But also, all right, part two to this is just faith in life, faith in the universe, faith in your skills, faith that the projects you're working on, the things that you're pursuing are going to work for you and are going to come to fruition to some extent. And that, that can sound like, you know, oh, Heidi, whatever, but I think it's very important. I think it's very important. And it does not mean that you must move with necessarily blind faith, right? Like, I don't know how I feel about blind faith. I think blind faith is probably best used as like a tiny little pixie dust once in a while when you've done all the work and gotten everything where you need to be. And there might be that last bit of uncertainty that exists that you'll never quite know to some extent, whether it's external or internal. And you got to take that, that leap of faith blindly, right? That might be, you know, once in a while, but to maybe go through life existing entirely on blind faith, I would think against, which is where you do have to, again, practice, hone your skills, and take in information from the outside world, right? You can't live in this weird kind of bubble. Then you're just existing like a, a crazy person. And that's a very hard thing to balance, you know, because business, just straight commerce, which art is not, especially not the movie business, it's art and commerce, right? But the business side of anything, I mean, it's numbers. It's brass tacks. You can, ones and zeros, you know, bottom lines. You know if something's performing or not performing. 
the arts are quite different, especially filmmaking. It's quite different. You know, you can pursue projects and really develop things and get wonderful stories and then take it out to the town and they didn't even get traction amongst the industry and get attachments to the project. And maybe it falls apart before you go. Maybe it falls apart while you're shooting, God forbid, or maybe it just is not the project that you expected it to be, right? What keeps, I mean, this has happened to every great artist, by the way, all creators. So what keeps one going? Well, there's certainly determination, will, passion and all of that. But I think a large piece of it is faith. You got to have artists faith to keep going. So let's all have a little bit more faith in the process and in ourselves and do the best work that we can. Hope you all have a great weekend. I'm Cameron Van Hoy. Thanks for sticking around. Peace.